the Freedom of the Seas Award recognizes an accomplished leader who embodies the core principles of America's surface Navy, which are to protect and defend our oceans for the benefit of the free world. Since the October 7th attack by Hamas on Israel and the subsequent war in Gaza, Iranian-backed Houthi rebels have carried out an offensive onslaught against commercial interests in the Red Sea. More than 80 merchant vessels have come under attack since the war, a potentially devastating handicap in a region responsible for nearly a trillion dollars in global trade. Some of those attacks have been on vessels having no connection to that Middle Eastern conflict. Some have been direct assaults on our fighting forces abroad. According to Vice Admiral Brad Cooper, the U.S. military's deputy commander in the Middle East, the Houthis are the first entity in world history to use anti-ship ballistic missiles against commercial shipping. Missiles that also have posed a direct threat to the United States Navy and to American interests. And in the face of those threats, the U.S. Navy and the Fifth Fleet have been there to answer the call. Intercepting missiles that travel at approximately 3,000 miles per hour with between only 9 and 15 seconds to act? U.S. naval forces have shot down more than 150 drones and missiles fired by the Houthis, protecting a vital waterway that is responsible for 15% of all global trade. Among the forces that have been steadfast in our defense, the USS Bruins, the USS Stockdale, the USS O'Kane, the USS Kearney, and of course, the USS Gravely, named for Vice Admiral Samuel Gravely, who served aboard our very own Iowa as communications officer. As this critical conflict continues, a conflict that is the U.S. Navy's first major battle at sea in the 21st century, naval forces remain steadfast in our defense and steadfast in their determination to thwart an enemy that seeks to disrupt the lifeblood of free people around the world. We offer prayers for strength and success to the men and women who have made this operation possible and who have put their lives on the line. The Red Sea today is the most intense operational maritime environment since World War II. And according to Vice Admiral Cooper, for the surface Navy community, the finest moment in 80 years. The 2024 Freedom of the Seas Award honors that noble fighting force. To the USS Gravely, named for an officer of whose history-making journey we are proud to be a part, and to every vessel that comprises this vital fighting force, we thank you for your service. God bless you. God bless America. And thank you for being a part of our National Museum family. <laughs>